Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Simon and today I'm joined by the artist formerly known as my mother, Louise Savage. Hello! <laughs> and we are back with some very, very exciting news. It's it's beyond exciting, it is super if I'm honest. Exciting. It's, yeah, every superlative I know <laughs> I could employ about this project. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the news, Mum? If so, people have missed it on our Instagrams. Yes. So the news is that Simon and I are going to be hosting a Women's Prize Book Club. The Women's the Prize Women's Book Club. The Women's Prize Book Club. Which feels very surreal. It feels <laughs> totally surreal. And it's not going to be a one-off. It's going to be a, a project that goes on throughout um, next year, through 2025. Um, and uh, it's it's going to be live, and but also it's going to be streamed as well. So... That for me seems really special that all our love for the Women's Prize is going to be shared live in a room, but also then go way beyond that and actually to a, a global audience. It feels really special. Also slightly worried about the rider that she's going to have after we've done one or two of them, frankly, global superstar in the making. But um, it's really exciting. It's going to be part of Women's Prize Day, which is going to be at Story House in Chester on Sunday, the 10th of November. We'd love to see lots of you there if you can make it. But if you can't, as I mentioned, it's going to be streamed, which I think is just really exciting because it's something that we're really keen to be doing a project that will also support the prize going forward. Yeah. And... We've got some amazing guests coming on. We can't tell you too much about all of them yet, but we can tell you who our first guest is going to be on Sunday the 10th of November at 6pm in real life and online. Who is it, Louise? It's going to be, and I keep pinching myself about this. I'm not sure she does interviews very often. So I'm just, I'm just absolutely in awe of this. We are going to be interviewing Susanna Clark, who wrote the magnificent Piranesi, which won the Women's Prize in 2021. Yes. And she was, it was my shout for the win that year. And I was bowled over by this book. I think it's, it's, it's just so cleverly constructed and the landscape and the ideas in the book just, I mean, it's still, I'm still walking those halls. I'm still pacing them. Lost I'm in still that seeing maze. those birds. And it's it's full of complex ideas, but it's really accessible. Um, so, yeah, and, and also on that evening, I was able to interview her very briefly as well. So, and I and she, she's lovely. She's got real warmth to her. So I think it's going to be lovely to be in a room with her again and, and explore her thoughts about creating this magnificent novel. I'm really intrigued because I'm going to reread Piranesi um, before the event. I feel like I'm about to enter my rereading era Ooh. because we'll also be talking about... Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell, which is 20 years old this year. And I read this 20 years ago. Oh, did you? So I'm going to reread it. I'm, I know my little brother loves this book as well. Yes. Have you read it yet? No. So oh. I know. And, and I have been... It's one of those books that I've been wanting to read for years and years, particularly because your younger brother loved it. And, and he wouldn't mind me saying he's really dyslexic. So it fascinated me that he read this at least twice in his mid to late teens and obsessed about it and I did I did watch the TV series with him and really there's a fantastic TV version I really enjoyed that but for some reason I haven't got round to sitting down and reading it so I am really looking forward to reading this especially knowing that I'm going to meet her again well also it's perfect kind of book for this time of year yes it's one to really hunker down with which is fab and yeah. As it is the anniversary, she has written a short story that we'll also be talking about, which is The Wood at Midwinter. How beautiful it's is that? It's gorgeous, isn't it? And I, I was just had a flick through, because Simon's just passed this on to me, and they there are the most joyous... This would oh, be we picked the same page! Oh, how weird! <laughs> joyous illustrations. This would make the most perfect Christmas present. Oh, she said it. She said the Christmas oh, word. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're legally it, allowed it really now would. Sometime, I mean, but... isn't, that, isn't that a gorgeous... In fact, it's got holly... Look, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. And on the book. front, actually. And actually, just mentioning Gorgeous. Christmas, if we forgot. So, Mum, as Mum said, this is a project that's going to be going on into 2025 as part of the 30th anniversary for the Women's Prize for fiction. Though we will have some non-fiction guests at some point too. Absolutely, we will. And the guests that we have, it's really exciting because they can have been long-listed, short-listed, or won 
the prize and it's about celebrating like the whole of the women's prize library which is yeah. really really exciting and, and vast because huge it, you know we, we were sort of thinking oh will there be enough books of course there'll be enough <laughs> books that and, and books. you know that the sort of it's not just that it's the it's the i mean that's one of the things that the prize has done it's it's put so many female writers into our hands yeah you know, and a lot of those authors, when you walk into a bookshop, the books are all spread beautifully out in front of you. And so many of them are authors that, you know, just just might not be lying on on those shelves if it hadn't been for this prize. So it, it just it it feels, oh, gosh, it's, it's, it's just so exciting that it's the 30th year. And and, I, you know, I think the achievement of the prize has been spectacular. And also thanks. It's the second year as a non-fiction, which is great that that's coming back. So that's yeah. all going to be very exciting too. Yeah. And we'll talk about what we're going to be doing with reading longlist and shortlist at some other point, I'm sure. Um, but the way the event is going to go is that we'll be talking to authors or judges, I should say, but we will have some judges coming on about either their latest book, plus um, if they've been on the longlist shortlist or won that book from the library. And then they get to pick us a book that they've loved from the Women's Prize Library that we read. And we've got quite an amount of reading to do, haven't we? <laughs> we have got quite an amount of reading to do. <laughs> because Susanna Clark's pick is, you hold this up. I will. So Susanna's, gosh, it's heavy. Susanna's, uh, Susanna Clark's pick is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. And neither Simon nor I have actually read this yet. Nope. So it's been on, my, again, on my, it's interesting. It's been on my periphery for ages but just haven't got round to it. So I'm really intrigued. And I know very little about this, actually. I know that it was really popular. I know lots of people really enjoyed it, but I don't I don't know the premise. I don't know. And, and I like that. I hope you're not going to say too much about it now. I'm not being mean. But, I love um, that. That was such a mum thing to do. That was a real, you won't. <laughs> None of you felt the firm grip that I had on my arm there. And the slight terror that trembles though. through me. It wasn't me. That firm. No, it wasn't. <laughs> But it was firm. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I love I love the idea that I'm coming to this fresh and I'm really interested. As I read it, I'll be thinking about why Susanna Clarke chose this and also trying to, I suspect, trying to see if I can see any connection between this book and the way that she writes. Mm. And that's the lovely thing is that I know there isn't an awful lot of time now between now and the 10th of November, but... Wouldn't it be lovely if you lovely people maybe did a similar thing? You know, you know now that you can pick this book up and have a read and have a think about, you know, why she might choose it. And if you're in the, the audience, um, you'll be able to ask questions as well. So, um, And if you're not, hopefully we're going to do some things on social media where you can send your questions in in advance because we want to make sure that everyone really feels part of it, whether they're physically there or whether they join us yeah. online. But what I want to mention about this book is the painting. Is that oh, yes. not by the artist that Laura Cumming yes, wrote about? Is. So that has a weird link yes. in with last year's non-fiction. Because Laura Cummings um, was shortlisted for the Women's Prize for non-fiction and she wrote about this painting. Her, her book is about art and she wrote about the, this painting in that book. So yeah, it is quite, it's quite, it's a bit, a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the event, Mum and I will be recommending Susanna or giving Susanna a book from the Women's Prize Library that having read her books and this one, we feel like is very much something that she might enjoy. She might have read it, she might have not. We can have a conversation yeah, we about know, it. Will we? It's going to be really, really exciting. So that is the format. <laughs> that is the plan. Well, as much as we can say, but it is so very exciting and it is something that, I mean, you know that I've been beavering away with the Women's Prize yeah, team about this I for do. almost a year now. Yeah. And on that note, I just want to say a huge thanks to the Women's Prize team, especially Absolutely. Lindsay and Claire, who've been so fantastic. And also to the team at Story House who are hosting the uh, space yeah. for it. And uh, it's going to be really, really good fun. So we hope you join in. We'd love to know your thoughts on the books. I will say, with a slight caveat, if you've got any bits that you weren't a fan of necessarily because i know the goldfinch is quite a divisive mm, book mm. hold fire on those until we've read it but um yeah if you've got any questions that you can think of for Susanna, let us know in the comments down below and that's and also i think i don't like to speak on behalf of lots of other people but i think we and the women's prize team would really love to know who would you like us to have a yeah. book club that would yeah. be something really nice to know in the comments down below. It really would, um, because it's 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 lovely to be guided by the people who really matter, which obviously is 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 the audience and the readers. Um, so yeah, your your input as always would be really valued. 
So there we are. Me and Mum have done a video under, well, just over 10 minutes long. I mean, I don't know how that's even happened. <laughs> that's a record. I know, it is. Goodness. But you'll get plenty of us over the coming Yeah, you will. <laughs> weeks. <laughs> Whether you months. like it or not. Yes. So um, we're really, 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 really excited. And also, I'm just really excited to be doing it with you. I think I it's going to be... The, and I should say, I think the Women's Prize has been something that both of us had, have had in our lives separately and has been important to our real lives. But I do think it's brought our relationship yeah. all the closer. Yeah. Yeah. which I think is really lovely. Yeah, And I, I love the fact that you, as my son, have worked really hard to promote this prize already. And I think it's, for me, one of the things that, that we need needs to happen moving forward is that I would love to see more men reading women's fiction. I think I think there's a lot more women's fiction being published, high quality women's fiction, but I'm still not convinced that there are terribly many men reading it. And and for me, that's why the prize is, one of the reasons why the prize is still so very, very important, because until men are reading women's stories, as a matter of course, then we haven't quite got there, have we? No, no, that's very true. But as you can see, Mum's raised two sons who have both read one of the books Absolutely. that we're going to be talking yeah, about, yeah. so she's done quite a good job this one. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> We've now turned it into a nearly 12 minute video, so we're going to go because we're actually we off are. to Story House. I'm so excited to take you because you've never been. No, I know, and, and I'm really wanting to see the space where we're going to be doing this wonderful thing. So on that note, we're going to go, but um, like we said, let us know in the comments any lovely thoughts on the books that we're going to be reading and also any authors, judges, etc. who you'd like to see on the Women's Prize Book yeah. Club, hosted yeah. by me. And um, me? <laughs> mad. Bonkers. Crazy. How did that happen? Anyway, we will see you all soon. In honour of my being on here, let's all say bye. bye.